All right, we're hunting ghosts today. We've got the brand new Ghost Hunter uh, collection from Sean over at 8-Bit Beard Co. And there's a little something special about these I'll tell you about in just a second. So welcome, my name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And in fact, there's several things that are unique about this collection. Uh, one of them is that it's a brand new blend. Uh, it's a little, it's lighter weight, faster absorbing blend. Uh, Sean's original blend that you can still get in all of the other scents except for this Ghost Hunter collection. If I were to name my top five uh, blends of all time for feeling beard, it would definitely be what Sean's doing over there with the, uh, the cucumber seed and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the good thing is this lighter weight uh, version here, this lighter weight blend also has cucumber seed in it. It's 100% uh, plant derived. So it's golden jojoba, abyssinian, squalane, cucumber seed, and avocado. Uh, and it's, it's the same price as the uh, the other blend that you can get uh, that you are more familiar with from Sean. Uh, actually, I think he told me this one actually cost more, but you get it for the same price uh, and you can use the code Banjo10 to save yourself 10% normally. But if you're watching this in a timely manner for the next three days, which is November 3rd through the 5th, you can actually get 20% off with my uh, affiliate code, which is Banjo10. So keep that in mind. Uh, I like this one. Feels really good. It's hard because it's got... Uh, um, a restrictor top on it have a harder time kind of determining viscosity when it comes out of a uh, a restrictor top because you know it just kind of squirts all over your hand uh I, so i guess it's lighter i don't notice it being hugely different uh, it's definitely not super thin oil all right it's more i guess it's a little lighter weight than the other two i haven't done a side-by-side -side comparison uh on it since i've gotten these in a few days ago all right but it works well um no complaints at all about that. The other thing that's really unique about these uh, is the new scents. Uh, it's all essential oil. Sean's been wanting to do that for a long time. Uh, by the way, I did help a little bit behind the scenes there with the, with the blends. Uh, you know, Sean really tried a lot of different things over a number of months to get the blend exactly the way he want it, wants it and makes it comparable to, uh, to his other blend as well. So I'm always glad to help out behind the scenes. It's fun uh, kind of talking about and trying out stuff and giving feedback behind the scenes. So that was fun. So let's talk about the scents here. Ghost hunting. Uh, it's got a cool little, uh, little sticker here, a little graphic that I can show you that, that goes along with this pretty well. You can probably figure out what these are inspired by. But we've got Inky, Pinky, Blinky, Clyde, and the ghost hunter himself. All right. Takes me back to the 1980s. Uh, let's go over the scents. So uh, they sound pretty basic. However, when I was talking to Sean behind the scenes, there's like six or seven different essential oils that goes into these blends. Uh, they're not crazy with the with weird stuff, so it's pretty straight down the middle, but they are uh, complex, and what's in there gives it enough layers to keep it going on a little bit longer than maybe some other essential oils, because typically they don't go on uh, a long time for essential oils, and these don't either. They don't go on uh, all day long or anything like that, but uh, I know Sean tried his best to, to uh, get them uh, strong and to last last as long as you can for them being essential oils. So I'll talk about all of these here. I like all of them. There's none that I don't like. Uh, so the first one is Inky. It's probably my favorite. By the way, you can get these in oil and butter. I don't have any butters here, but it's a two ounce butter, one ounce oil, $19.99 uh, for each of those. And this is probably, the, in fact, all of these, since they're essential oil blends, are really good for nighttime. So if you're thinking, hey, maybe I want to try one of these for nighttime, I think that would be a good option for the butter, especially. Um, but this one, Inky, is fresh eucalyptus and double mint. And you know I love some uh, woodsy minty kind of scents. That's exactly what this is. This one's probably my favorite. Uh, this one I like wearing all year long, but I know a lot of people like wearing it in the uh, in colder weather season there with the, uh, the double mint and eucalyptus. Perfect uh, blend on that one. That one is my favorite. All right. And then another one is Blinky. I like this one a little bit more than I thought I would because it is... Let me get the right one here. I got Blinky in my hand. That's fresh cut pine and double wood. And sometimes pine can be a little off-putting for me because I smelled them for, you know, five or six years ago. You'd smell everybody had a pine scent. And it smelled like like pine saw bathroom toilet bowl cleaner and stuff like that and you know furniture polish but that's not what this smells like so you do get kind of that natural pine and then some really good wood with it a uh, hardwood to, to kind of go with the pine which 
uh, you know, is an evergreen tree. So it's a good blend there. I like woodsy, uh, minty. In fact, if you wanted to mix those two together, the uh, inky and blinky, I think that might also work well too to give a little more woodsy to go with your minty. All right, and then these last three uh, have a little bit more maybe what you thought when you heard essential oils. You're going to hear some uh, some citrus stuff in it. So pinky is the sweetest one out of these. This is pink grapefruit and crisp citrus. So you do get that uh, like pink lemonade kind of grapefruit uh, scent. Uh, is what I get out of it. Uh, and then the, the citrus, I guess, goes in there with it uh, for that one. So that's the sweetest, uh, but the sweetness doesn't last forever. Those top notes go off uh, pretty quickly and kind of calms down and makes it a lot more pleasurable for somebody who may not be into super sweet scents. And then Clyde is sweet orange and smooth cedar. I'm a big fan of orange and cedar blends. I definitely get more orange. Uh, you, you can get the cedar through there, uh, but it's definitely, I would call this an orange scent uh, with the cedar back notes gives a little bit more longevity a little bit more earthiness uh, a little something underneath when some of the top notes from the uh, orange wears off and then the ghost hunter the last one here is zesty lemon and creamy vanilla and it's not super creamy because it is an essential oil that vanilla that's in it is not that that super creamy rich food type of scent this is more uh, like a lemon a lemon drop a lemon head kind of thing and you do get the little bit of vanilla but it's that natural vanilla and not the the super sticky sweet vanilla that i don't tend to like because it usually lasts forever in my beard this doesn't all right so those are the the five cents uh, once again a bit of a special collection there that you can pick up with a new blend to try out uh, a lot of these like i said i think is perfect for uh, any time but especially nighttime butters with those essential oils you can get a nice little uh, blast of your favorite scent and then it kind of calms down and uh, it lets you go to sleep and once again you can use the code banjo 10 for 10% normally off, but for the next three days, you can get 20% off uh, for the special launch uh, deal on that. So take advantage. Let me know which one of those scents sounds good. And if you do ch check these out, come back and let us know how you like the blends, how you like the butter, how you like the scents. And as always, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.